So, Sean, what you're saying is the next time I get pulled over, I can't just give them my mayor's coin? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Jake. It doesn't quite work that way. I'm sorry. Damn it. <laughs> you know, but on the other side of the coin, I'd like to think that the roast was an absolute success. I think my popularity is better now than it ever was before, all in part to Goodnight Live. But that being said, I think your creative team really dropped the ball on you. Miles, I don't think he roasted you one time during the entire roast, and I'm not even sure if Terry Efforts knew that you were on stage. I know. This team is just let down after let down. It's like they don't even know me at all. You know, I just feel like I really need to find a way to connect with them. Well, what I think you need is a team building exercise. And I've got a little bit of experience with this. It wasn't that long ago that I took my team down to Washington. You know what? That's a great idea. This team, oh, they need to get to my level. Or <laughs> shit, even the next level. <laughs> team building. That's exactly what we need. You know, and I've got the perfect place for you for team building. It's an escape room in Minot called Escape Point. It does a phenomenal job of bringing everybody together. You know what? And I'll even help set it up for you. An escape room. Perfect. You set it up. I'll call a meeting. <laughs> we are doing this. Perfect. You guys, I run late for shit all the time, but I have never called a meeting and left my group hanging for over an hour. What an asshole. Yeah, I don't have time for this shit. I've got a media empire to run, and time is money. It's the same thing every week. Creatives at eight, Mr. Fabulous shows up at nine. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get the fuck out of here. God, wait, just a minute. Jake will be here, I just know it. You just gotta give him another minute. Uh, I'll get us around. Oh no, get some pizza too. Clean up the recycling, folks. I've got an important announcement to make. I drove two fucking hours for a single announcement? Now, I know what you guys think. That sitting around here while Sean Ann guzzles gin and Jonah drinks those juice box beers is how we connect and grow as a team. But I know what we really need. A team building exercise. What the fuck? Don't talk to me about no team building. You're on my team, Jake Thraukill. I built this team. Uh, <coughs> which team has the pizza? Well, I go with whatever team has the booze. And since Vodka Mike isn't here, I'm on Team Tangeray. At a girl. Ooh, Jake, can I be on your team? Guys, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Jonah, you think your one-man show is worth watching? It's not. That's why my name is on the marquee. And ladies, your advanced educations are only matched by your advanced blood alcohol content. And for God's sakes, what kind of team lets a member starve to death? I'm wasting away. Miles, where the hell's the pizza? You're a lawyer. I'm a PhD. Tell me again, why do we listen to this belt buckle with half a brain? Ha, too late. I've already got it set up for this weekend, and you guys are gonna love it. The itinerary is already in your emails. Welcome to Escape Point, team. Oh my god, are you serious? I know, I know. Pretty cool, right Jonah? Just get on with it, Frau Kill. All the arrangements have already been taken care of. And here's, um, this guy to get us started. Dude, I'm Cameron, the intern. I've worked literally every good night live. Fine, whatever. Kevin here will get us started. Now, get on with it. Whatever, Mr. Thraukill. Everything's all ready to go. For some reason, Vodka Mike got here early. He's passed out in the control room. So, phone's in the basket and follow me. All right. Personal phone. Work phone. Burner phone. I don't know why I bring this thing. It never rings. Well, 
Looks like you're all set. Good luck, team. Wait, Jake, you can't just shut them in like that. Son, what's your name again? Cam er un. Well, let me tell you about the first rule of team building. You always neutralize the weakest link first. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Well, Kevin, it's clear you've been skipping cardio day. Uh, guys, th this isn't good. I, I had a bad experience once in a, in a tight space, and now <laughs> I get a little nervous in confined spaces. <laughs> Are there even snacks in here? This is bullshit, you guys. When this prick said team building, I thought we'd be getting a massage, not setting ourselves up into some trip into Jake's damaged psyche. And I thought Jonah was the only one who made decisions without caring about the rest of us. Un-fucking real. Hey team, I personally customized this escape room just for you. And when I say personally customized, I mean I paid my assistant $7 an hour to do it. Anyways, for your first clue, look for something that flies without wings. How long is this gonna take? It's already been three minutes. That's it. Time flies, but it doesn't have wings. We're team building already. Look, I already got the first clue. And it's about Jake. This is awesome. We can do this. I know all about Jake. Uh, his favorite color is brown. His favorite beer is Old Mill. Uh, his favorite song is Hen House. And uh, his favorite belt buckle is the mutton busting channel. Miles, your bromance with Jake is disgusting and nobody here gives a shit about building a team. Are we really locked in here? <sighs> John Ann, you make the snacks. Where are the snacks? Well, where are they? <sighs> Jake fucking Thralkill lured me here to solve clues about him? No, not a chance. Rogan's dropping a new podcast today, and I cannot miss Joe teaching old Bill Clinton how to inhale. You know, the point of this exercise was to bring the team closer together, but the real pleasure is in torturing executive producer Joan Alanto. It's really quite satisfying. Yeah, I'm not interested in learning anything about Jake until he's my client for tax evasion. Does he really think that knowing him better will make us like him better? This is asinine. Come on, Sean Ann. We can solve this together. We got this. And maybe when we're done, you could even join me and Jake's team. Actually, Miles, you had me at problem solving. Read that clue, you little fucker baby. All right. The code you need is easy to read. The buckles of a star added to a fancy car. Wrapped around the year of everyone's favorite beer, we'll open the lock beneath the gear. Here. Okay, I got this. 37 belt buckles in Jake's collection. Add that to a low end 2018 Beamer. That's 2055. And the first year of Old Mill was 1849. That's 2018495. I was told there'd be no math. Just open the lock. Bam, that's one down. Let's get this shit done and get out of here. My check liver light is on. Yeah. All right, patience is key. No, no, this needs to stop, Miles. Quit doing everything Jake tells you to. Jonah, when you conned me into being part of this shit show, you didn't mention anything about listening to egotistical nobodies. Besides you, anyway. The walls are really closing in on me, guys. I mean, this is just like that time in the third grade when the teacher stuffed me in a cardboard box because I kept sneaking off to the lunchroom. <laughs> this is your fault. 
No, you're supposed to be in charge, Jonah. How could you do this to me? No, Derek. This is what happens when I let Jake think he's in charge and when you fuckers encourage his delusional boss fantasies. Oh. Wait! Miles, did that clue say anything about food? Well... No. <laughs> Just read the clue, Miles. I'll figure it out before poor Derek here dies of starvation. I mean, we've been in here five whole minutes. Okay, well, it's a good thing I memorized it then before Jonah poo-pooed it. <clears throat> Patience is key to learn about me, and watching plants grow is the best way I know. You know, Jake may take all my jokes, but he can't take my Basil Hayden's. <sighs> Figures. The one time, Terry girl, that your booze-addled brain could actually help us, and you're totally worthless. What, are you scared we might steal your lame jokes? At least people want to steal the jokes that I write. The only thing that people want to steal from you are people like Sean Ann and I, who keep this ship floating and funny. Fine, I'll resort to eating a salad. Jesus. Derek, great work. This team gets stronger with every clue. We'd be even stronger if Terry and Jonah would play along. Listen, you're not my bastard stepchildren or my dog, so I'm not required to play along with anything here. In fact, you guys don't even pay me. Why did I think it was a good idea to come here? Because, Terry girl, the only good ideas you get to be a part of are the ones I give you. Hey, I think that's Jake's lake cabin in that picture. Oh, but this is the lock. Not even close, Miles. You've never even been to my lake cabin, buddy. I'd never invite any of these fuckers to my lake cabin. Especially you, Vodka Mike. No means no, Daddy. I think I've got the next clue. Miles, if you read one more goddamn clue about Jake Thrillkill, I'm gonna Yoko Ono your band with the Night Moose. Team building at its finest. Not helpful, Jonah. Derek over here is starting to hallucinate, Terry brought the big flask today, and Miles and I seem to be the only ones working to get us out of here. Listen, Sean Ann, I want out of here just as bad as the rest of you guys, but I will not pander to that belt buckled bimbo. Fine. Miles and I will figure everything out. Read the clue, buddy. Okay. I don't answer to you, you only answer to me. That one's not in the Jake Thrill Kill employee handbook. Miles, you're the only one that read that stupid handbook. Just got the revisions done on version 19.2a. Here, let that soak in, buddy. Does the handbook say anything about lunch breaks? We don't need the handbook to figure this out. I can't be the only one Jake calls late at night and reads his resume to. No, you're just the only one foolish enough to pick up when he calls. You know, Jake called me last month too, really, really late. I listened until he started crying about his taxes. That never happened? Because I don't cry. Proof yet again that lawyers are to never be trusted, especially red-headed ambulance chasers with a win rate of 23%. Wait a minute, it's the phone. Hello? Congratulations, you've made it to the final clue. Well done, Sean Ann. I can always count on you to be the smartest person in the room. Sean Ann, give me that phone. I'm gonna call Night Train. <laughs> 852 5433 Night Train! No! They didn't pay for a plug! Derek, if this goes much longer, I'm eating you first. Listen here, you egotistical son of a bitch. Open that door right now. Well, Jonah, if you want to get out of there, you're just gonna have to play along. God damn it, Thrawkill. Just tell me your stupid clue. Are you ready, Jonah? I had a dream. You built a team, but 
what a surprise to me, the day we became a family. Oh, I've got this. Good, because I'm on my last flask and my last nerve. Derek, for the love of God, snap out of it, man. We've only been in here 15 minutes. Uh, what happened to dominance? What's my safe word? Guys, the answer is 11-16-19, the date of our first show. It's, something isn't working. Uh, hang on, let me try. Fucking moron, Jesus Christ, it's a lot. How do you remember a date without a phone in your hand? Um, mm -hmm. you broke it. You fucking broke it. Jake Thralkill, get your ass in here and fix this. Something isn't working. And if you can't fix it, get Cameron the intern to do it for you. Wait, get who to fix it? Now hang on, I'll be right in. Hey, you guys did it! <laughs> Pizza, here I come! Wait! Well, you solved all the clues. Fun times, right guys? Well, well, well. Look who's down here with the little people. Jake, you arranged this disaster. Get us the hell out of here. I think it's cool. It's like a lock-in sleepover, but without the snacks or the video games or the fun, but at least we're here together. Get me out of here. God, Thralkiel, this is why you're not the ideas guy. Never try to be the ideas guy again. That's my job. Yeah, about that. Technically, this wasn't even my idea. What? Whose dumbass idea was it? So I was having coffee with Mayor Sitma the other day and he wanted to do something nice for our team. So he suggested this team building exercise. Are you fucking kidding me? You listen to that creep? Shit. I spent my mayor coin on condoms in the bathroom at the barley pop. Hello, Mr. Mayor. What can we do for you today? Why, hello. See, I left my cigar torch lighter on the set of the Good Night Live last weekend. They told me that it was here, and I could just stop by and let myself in. Okay, sure. Let yourself in. Ooh, the Good Night Live roast. Well, that's never gonna see the light of day. Oops. What the fuck? Is that my creative team? Oh my god, I must be in hell. Those would be the first voices I would hear if I was in hell. Oh. Fucking interns can't hold their liquor. You owe me a bottle. One of these rooms has gotta be the bathroom. Fucking around when they said escape room. Holy shit! Mark the light? Is that you? Christ almighty, didn't any of you imbeciles try to at least open the door? Well, we're out, so beer's on me? No. I've had my fill of thrall kill today. You might have your fill, but 
I'm finally empty. Let's get a beer. Wait up, fools. Dr. Tanqueray is coming with you. Well, buddy, I'm sorry this exercise didn't build the team. You coming, Jake? Yeah, Miles, I'm coming. All right. All right. Okay. So. The escape room was maybe not my best idea, but I will see you all next week, Wednesday, for Creative at 9 o'clock. Creative starts at 8! You know, hell's not so bad. Sure beats hanging out with those pricks.